Hello, I'm going to be reading today from my latest novel, Tempest Tossed. It's book three in the Three Strand Chord series. Tempest unlocked the door to her apartment and opened it just enough to slip through. Her two dogs bounded forward immediately, Jupiter's low woof forming the bass line for Patty's high-pitched vocals. They hovered excitedly, tails wagging. Hello to you too. She gave each head a pat. Now go sit, she commanded with cheerful cadence, pointing to the futon in the middle of the one-room suite. The dogs trotted obediently to their spots. Jupiter, the Great Dane, sat down on the floor beside the futon while Yorkshire Terrier Patty hopped onto its surface. With practiced accuracy, Tempest clicked the deadbolt in place with a feck and then leaned against the door, allowing herself a moment, eyes closed. With a cleansing breath, she slowly opened them, letting her gaze wander to the view out the large window, the trees rustling in the breeze beyond its frame. The filmy drapes hung limp and unmoving, just as they should, with nothing on the other side to cause alarm. It was foolish, really, this apprehension she felt every time she entered her own dwelling. It had been months since the terrible day she'd found her cat Zoe swinging listlessly from a noose on the other side of a different window. But pets and people died. It was time to get over it, put it behind her. But it wasn't that easy. Dirk had asked for her forgiveness and she had given it. He was a Christian now, and as a believer herself, she had to show him that she'd let it go except she hadn't, not really. If it had been a stranger who had done the dastardly deed, angsty teenagers playing a sick prank, or even a psychotic neighbor who hated cats, maybe, just maybe, she could have handled it. But no, it had been someone she trusted, someone who claimed to love her, and that made it all the worse, not just because he had betrayed her, but because she felt like a hypocrite.